Hello people, my name is Gary. Uh, I'm going to start a series of videos uh, covering FTP, I'm sorry, not FTP, STP, Spanning Tree Protocol. Uh, right now I'm starting to take my CCNA certification exam um, and I thought I should start making these videos to make sure that I understand. Uh, I do believe that if you understand something, uh, you should be able to explain it and that is my goal. Uh, and my uh, my main goal doing these videos and my second goal uh, for doing these videos is because I'm sure I'm going to be learning from you guys. Uh, I'm expecting feedback uh, from you guys, whatever mistakes I make, which I will make mistakes. Like I said, I'm not a CCNA, I'm preparing to be a CCNA. So I'm probably going to be making mistakes and I'll be uh, expecting you guys to point those out. So what we're going to do today is uh, uh, start um, talking about STP uh, with the first topic uh, I thought it should be why we need STP why is it that STP is so good for our network so first thing we're gonna do is talk about why STP is needed second thing that we're going to do is we're going to create a, a, a condition that STP uh, um, prevent which is a, a, a broadcast storm uh, and we're going to try to ping from uh, A to B during this broadcast storm. Third we're going to be stopping that broadcast storm using STP and we're going to do the ping again uh, to see what happens. So first thing that we need to talk about is why is uh, STP needed. STP is needed uh, because of two reasons. One of them, like I said, is the broadcast storm. You may hear also um, layer 2 loop. We're going to talk about what that is. And also um, redundancy. We, uh, STP uh, was develop, developed by Radio Perlman um, and was uh, standardized uh, back in 1990 by the IEEE under A02.1D standard. So what it does is prevents broadcast storms. I'm missing a couple of letters there. Broadcast storm uh, or layer two loops and also redundancy. What it is? What is a broadcast storm? Let me bring up a, um, oops, wait a second, let me turn that off, there we go. Let me bring up a network that I created in order to make this series of videos. Let me move that here, wait a minute, there we go. I created this simple network just to uh, create, to demonstrate these videos. At this moment SCP is running on the switches. What I need to do first is stop them because I do want to create uh, a network storm. I'm sorry, a broadcast storm. No. Spanning tree. Oops. Spanning tree on VLAN 1. We need to specify what VLAN we need to stop the, the STP because by default switches, uh, Cisco switches that is, they use per VLAN STP. So we need to specify the VLAN. Then what I'm going to do is the following. Uh, you already saw how to stop it, uh, how, I st how I stop STP from one of the other switch in order to prevent this video to uh, from becoming too long. I'm going to pause the videos, uh, stop STP on the other switches and come back. Okay, I've stopped STP from running on all the switches you can see now that every port is forwarding data every time the green line uh, blinks is because a, a frame is going through it so this network at the moment is very busy uh, that is because it's undergoing a broadcast storm um, like I said we created the broadcast storm now we're going to try to ping from uh, PC2 to PC0 and see what happens what is a broadcast storm? a broadcast storm is created uh, because of how a switch works I'm going to start talking, uh, I'm going to talk to you about uh, layer 2 uh, device, which is the switch, by uh, talking about layer 3 first. Uh, layer 3, uh, the network layer, uh, logical addressing, 
um, IP addresses. The IP packet ha on its header has a field called TTL, time to live. That starts with uh, the number 128, 128. And every time uh, that packet goes through a port, um, a router, the router will decrement that uh, field by one. Eventually, if the router, the, if the packet does not find its destination for any reason at all, uh, it'll go through from um, uh, router to router. When that TTL field uh, comes to zero, that packet is discarded. So that packet will never be running around the network loose forever. On the other hand, uh, at layer 2, frames do not have a TTL field on their header. Uh, the frame can uh, potentially run around a network uh, endlessly if there's nothing to stop it. There are two things that can stop uh, 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 an endless loop, uh, frame a la layer 2 loop. Uh, that is a failure, a switch failure, port failure, link failure, some sort of failure, or STP. STP uh, prevents that. It doesn't, it stops it, but it, it was developed to prevent it, not to stop it. But that step if it's already running like we're going to do that now. The second thing STP allows us to do is to have redundancy on a network. Redundancy, uh, this network, for example, is a redundant network. It's a very simple network, but it's a redundant network. That is because every switch has different paths to take in order to get from point A to point B. Uh, for example, uh, this switch here has three uh, ways. If this PC was to send the frame to this switch, this switch, uh, let's say for example to PC uh, 0, when this switch receives it, it has three different paths to take. Uh, so, uh, I'm sorry, redundancy. So that is a good thing to have redundancy, to have a selection, but uh, we can have all three running at the same time. That will cause what we just talked about, a layer 2 loop. So, STP does that, and we're going to talk about that in just a minute. So, I said that uh, uh, broadcast storms are created because of how a uh, uh, switch works. A switch, for example, will receive a frame. There are three types of frames that can cause a network, a broadcast storm or layer 2 loop. Those are broadcast frames, of course, multicast frames, and an unknown destination frame. Unknown destination is a frame that will come into the switch. This switch will check it against his MAC table, uh, MAC address table. If it doesn't find a match, it will flood it out of the other ports. Uh, so every switch will receive that, and if they do not know uh, the destination, they will flood it as well, so on and so forth. Um, the most common pa packet uh, is a broadcast packet. A bro broadcast packet will be received by a switch, and it will flood that, that broadcast out of every port. This switch will receive it, do the same. This switch will receive it, do the same so on and so forth. The network will become flooded with uh, broadcast frames. All the bandwidth will be taken by the broadcast frames and whenever a good frame, if you will, will try to get from point A to point B, it will not be able to do so or it's going to be very hard for it to get to that. Uh, so the network will start slowing down because of all, all of the broadcast frames running around in it. The PC as well will start slowing down, eventually fail, uh, even freeze. Uh, because uh, it will have to deal with all this enormous amount of uh, broadcast frames. Again, uh, those are the two reasons why uh, STP is a good thing. I'm going to try to ping now from uh, PC2 to PC0 and see what happens. I can see already the packet tracer is um, not working as it should. Here we go. Um, that it happens to me a lot, first of all because it's packet tracer, second because we have a, a, a broadcast storm uh, uh, going on on the network, so it's very hard to packet tracer to keep up. Um, let's go ahead and hurry up, ping, let's see what happens. Remember the uh, network is undergoing a broadcast storm, storm already has taken too much time, this packet I know is going to fail, the request is going to fail. We might see one uh, uh, request going through because the network is running, remember that the network is running at the moment it is just uh, saturated with broadcast uh, frames so it doesn't have time to deal with other frames and some of them will be dropped as, as it's going on right now so the ping is not going through what I'm going to do now is enable uh, again STP we're gonna do the same thing again and let's see what happens so in order to uh, stop something or negate a command on STP, you know you need to enter no first because we need to start it now, we need to enter the uh, 
command again without the node in front of it. So spanning tree, VLAN, what VLAN, VLAN 1. Enter. This switch brought down all of its ports. STP is converging now. Again, I'm going to pause the video, enable STP on the other three switches, and I'll be right back. Okay, I've uh, enabled uh, STP on all the switches. This was the first switch that I enabled STP on, so it already, has already converged. The next one is going to be this one, there you go. Then this one, and this this one. That is because uh, it takes STP 30 seconds to converge. Um, uh, so, because I started STP first on one switch and then on the other one, there's going to be a, 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 a difference, uh, a, time, a, a delay between them. I think STP is already up and running, so we're going to go ahead and do the ping again. Let's see what happened this time. Again, the ping should go through without a problem. First time it didn't. As you can see here, all the requests time out. Now we're going to do the same thing, and the pings are going through just fine. So that is why we need STP, and STP is a good thing. So to recap, uh, we created a broadcast storm in order to show why STP is a good thing and what it does. Uh, while that broadcast storm was going on, we tried to ping from PC2 to PC1, and it failed, as we can see right here. Uh, we uh, enabled STP uh, again on all the switches. The, the STP converged. It took care of all the ports that it needed to take care of. Uh, you can see now that some of the ports are being blocked by the orange, uh, indicated by the orange light. The only ones for the only ports uh, forwarding are the green ports. So each switch that no longer has every port to go through, but it has the ones that STP uh, enabled, if you will, for it for the frames to travel on or to go through. And we're going to talk about how that is done in the next videos. So I hope you understood, I hope it was clear, uh, if it wasn't please let me know, if I made a mistake please let me know, if you like the video, like the video, if you do not like the video, don't like the video, and ask questions. Thank you very much guys, bye bye.